Man, I don't know what it is about this time of year. <laughs> the eggnog. Sound of sleigh bells ringing through the air. The smell of fresh broken glass in the air. <laughs> yeah, it's Christmas in California. There's just something about this time of year that makes me want to give to the people I care most about. So being in California, that means I go into local retail outlets to do some smash and grab Christmas shoplifting. <laughs> Taking from businesses means I have more gifts to give to the people I love. And isn't that what Christmas is all about? Going into stores and taking things without consequences is the trendiest thing in California since homelessness. There's really no downside. It's not really stealing as much as it is reallocating the wealth to create a more even and mutually beneficial society. Yeah, ever since California implemented the very progressive policy of not prosecuting shoplifters, it's made my Christmas shopping more affordable than ever. I'm glad we're decriminalizing crime. I think that's gonna help society become more inclusive for people who want to live without consequences. Damn it, someone already got this place. Brent, was this you? You said I could have it. After the murder rate up in Portland jumped up to 800%, I moved the family down to California because Portland is just not a safe place to crime in anymore. Uh, stealing, please don't use that term because it's stigmatizing. I mean, look, we know the rules. We steal less than $950 per store to avoid being prosecuted. Which is pretty easy to do. Cause wow. You like the... Uh, yo, <laughs> yo, that dude, that dude, Blackheart was, Blackheart called that dude real quick when he was trying to hit up that chick, and, uh, so he just took his phone and threw it against the wall real quick, he was like, yo, fuck you, Blackheart. Oh, good God, well, thank God that he did that, because otherwise, it probably would have gotten ugly, <laughs> like, well, let's just say that much, but you're stealing in California with ski mask on, with this guy be 80 something degrees, so it's like, that, yo, like, yo. Yo, that Everybody, video. Wait a minute, that, time out. And these people were not looking at them when they're when they're walking by as they answer the fucking questions and shit. Yo, it's California, bro. Come on I, now. I lost my shit. <laughs> I was yo, like, you, I'm about to say that. Yeah, right. Like we can't do this shit up here in Massachusetts. Yo, that's just no, hilarious, like, bro. When it gets colder outside, just to do that type of shit to make a move like that. Can't do that, like oh. I love it, man. I love it. I love that video. Cali, man, you are a strange state out there. So anyways, folks, this is, of course, the Bleeding Edge Reactions, uh, a subsidiary of the MCU's Bleeding Edge YouTube channel and podcast. And I am, of course, Jeff S., the co-host, True Knowledge in the house, handling my business, as usual, doing another installment of my reaction video collaboration series to Bandmade. I got Blackheart back for round two. Um, we're going to get into Domination. Uh, we're going to drop Psyche and some vocals on him for the first time since his first reaction was with Onset. So, um, Blackheart, just like last time, go ahead and, uh, you know, pl do your plugs and whatnot and introduce yourself and whatnot, and then we'll get into the bandmaid. Blackheart, OTTR headquarters, man. Boston, Massachusetts. You can find us everywhere and anywhere. YouTube, Facebook, and Twitch. Um, anything more needless to say, let's just get the fuck into it. Shout out to the whole mob and shout out to the commissions talk. You know who the fuck y'all are. Let's go. That's right. You heard him. You heard the man. Um, oh, you know what? We got a, got a news flash here, folks. It looks like, apparently, there is a massive shortage of Plan B going on in the U.S. right now due to true knowledge, I don't know who that is, uh, being on a legit hot streak and is now being sold on the black market at four times the usual price. Black market homebrew Plan B is being sold as well. And so the MCU's Bleeding Edge would advise investing... And plan B as a part of your portfolio. So there you go, folks. There's your your stock tip of the day from the Bleeding Edge. Can't beat that. Free nope. knowledge. There you go, baby. Free knowledge. Fuck it, fuck it up the value of uh, plan B. And pharmaceuticals. Th there you go. And uh, also, uh, we, all, we all, as always, want to support women's sports. So we're going to play an advertisement supporting women's sports. There you go, baby. <laughs> That's how we do it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Supporting women's sports every day. Oh, over shit. Over on the Bleeding Edge Reactions. You know what I mean? Because that's how we keep it real. You know what I'm saying? We're all about uh, equality. And, uh, you know, uh, I think that uh, 
have a big fucking caveman looking broads fucking out there. You sure that girl was not on steroids? <laughs> Shit, I mean, shit, that woman was not on no fucking steroids. Oh, man. PEDs. I've got nothing to say, man. I'm silent. I'm silent. Oh, now I, people I, want to be silent. Hold up. Time out. I didn't see <laughs> nothing. I didn't see nothing, kid. Dude, I saw a belly button poke out that looked like it was abs. Fuck that nonsense. <laughs> Yo, I don't care, man. Whatever, whatever, whatever you got to do to facilitate that chest clothes coming off like that, you know what I'm saying? That's good for me, bro. Ninja Vanish. <laughs> Anyways, I think that's a good segue into bandmate domination, folks. Let's get into this shit. Brolic. Brolic, 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 brolic. Here we go, baby. Let's go. Ooh. Ooh. So what do you think, man? That, what do you, yo, what, what do you think about the, Psyche? The open... F Wait, hold on. Just, hold on. Let me just rewind back. Just to, to be clear, seconds. just to be clear what they're doing right there, and thank you to the comment section for, for, for explaining this to me. When they circle around Akani like that, mm -hmm. they're trying to fuck with her. You know what I'm saying? Like, they're trying to, like, get her off her game or whatever. You know what I mean? Like, you know, and try to throw her off. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. you know, get yeah. her attention or... I mean, if that's the way to try to get her attention, and she's going hard like that, then that's not doing no justice to women for anybody. But still, the performance, though, with the lyrics is what I was trying to capture on to when it came to this. And I had to, like, read, I had to, like, read a bit of the subtitles, like, I mean, even though she was going in and out of English and Japanese, so I really respected that, thank God. Um, so to try to get a little balance of, of, dual, of dual dialogue when, uh, when it comes to the lyrics. The lyrics, though... The meaning, but I mean, the meaning behind it though is that basically, don't let life take control of you. You could, you take control of life. Yeah, I fucking felt that, and you know, and when I seen that bar, and I'm like, yo, that's the hardest bar I heard. And I was like, don't let life take control of you. You take control of your life. That was the realest shit I ever seen. That I was like, yo, automatically, psh, bar fucking on. Well, like, yo, that's I, I love, I love the song. That's Even though the, it was only half the music video. Well, that's the thing you, that, like, I think a lot of people are surprised about Bandmade is that because of the type of music that they play, like, you know, they're, they're kind of like, you know, like rock and roll, alternative rock, whatever, you know, hard rock, whatever you want to call it. Mm -hmm. People assume that, like, their lyrics are going to be, like, negative or, like, you know, or, like, whatever. But, like, really, 
all their stuff is very uplifting and very positive. You know what I'm yeah. saying? It's very much about like, you know, breaking new gates and like, you know what I mean? And like, you know, like being yourself. Yeah, the, whole, and, the whole perception of what the um, society will look at them as and depict them as this group. Stigma. I mean, stymie them. And, and I noticed it's here. I noticed that you really detected and picked up how good the harmonies are between Miku and Psyche. Like, they're really good coming off of each other. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I, can, I can tell, watching your reactions, that you really picked that up and you detected, like, they have really good synergy together. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. with, when they started going back and forth with each other and whatnot at that one and that's point what in the song. Like, yeah, you know what I'm saying? It's it, like almost had like, it almost had, like, a hip-hop vibe to it. You know what I it mean? Did. Like, it yeah. did. Yeah. Yo, yo, it really did. Yo, it really did. It really did have, like, a hip -hop. It really had like a hip hop element to it that I think certain people like, like people like me can relate to, and I think it brings more intrigue to their music that you don't hear that too often in other music styles or any music genres. I mean, um, like that nowadays, anyway. And again, this is live. You know what I'm saying? So take that into consideration. Like again, this is a live song. Like that's what we're working with here. This is them right. live. Right. This isn't the studio recorded version of the song. Nope, this is actually in there. Someone had to be in there, guarded the fuck up with a fucking camera, and knew what the fuck that they were doing, or or just the whole arena just itself was set up to where it was going to be recorded anyway. So they used that footage to create so, music videos like this. So you, so you could see the outfits this time, right? Yes. So do, do you like them or what? I uh, it definitely it definitely stands to stands true to their message. It definitely stands true to who they are. So. I can't. I mean, I can't complain. You know, saying it's like you know, saying you want to sell no one a, I mean, a ticket that no one is going to buy off you and shit like that. So you want to be able to know that this is really authentic. It, it's legitimate about what their message is, whatever, what their style is, and what their representation are. And they brought their representation to this um, to this music video. So I, so I really am beyond the static. What What do you think about Psyche's vocals? Psyche's vocals. It took me like maybe like, the first thirty seconds to try like to try like mellow in, to try like gel into it because like new voice, you gotta like you say like process it quick. So, but it wasn't that; it was more of the lyrics that caught my attention first, and then the harmony afterwards. Because well, I was like, "Yo," because the message behind the bar is what got me hooked to you, but it's how you tell it to me. It's what makes me pay attention. Well, to again, the reason why I, I wanted to do this whole series, the the whole like thinking of it for me is the fact that like if we do more of these together, you know what I'm saying? Like, you yeah. know, if we end up doing several of these, which I plan on doing, like I'm telling you right now, I already have it planned with other creators that I've already collaborated with on these and I'm going to get together again. You know what I'm okay. saying? And we're going to yeah. do more. You know what I mean? Like yeah. my thought, my thinking was with the whole, the whole, like the whole time was like, you know, it will give – people a chance to be introduced to the band while at the same time right. give really authentic reactions and also over time develop a relationship with the band to where like your reactions will like mm -hmm. change and like grow you know what i mean Absolutely. and you'll have more of an opportunity to like listen to psyche and like dig the vocals you know what i'm saying Absolutely. like right right now all i gave you was like two minutes worth yeah and that was only what half of a video so imagine what the so imagine what the last half is and yeah. that could that could easily sell you over from that, but it builds up that anticipation. Yeah, most definitely. And she's got really good body language too. She really like commands. She has a really good presence on stage. Definitely. Let's go back. Let's go back. <laughs> Yeah, 
Oh, yeah, they actually fall off each other. Yeah. Trauma solo. Oh, she switched it. Oh, look at it. Yeah, it's good. Cool. There you go. I fucks with this shit. I really fucks with this shit. They definitely killed the last half of this shit, though. Especially Miko. Miko came out of nowhere, did the very last harmony of the last chorus. That's why I got back into it. It's like, yo, that final message struck me. But her voice is beautiful. Now that I gotta really like hear like the whole song and the, the whole song as a whole, fucking phenomenal. Awesome. Hey. Yeah, yeah. Hey, it never give you some uplifting spirit, yo. You know what I'm saying? So like, keep fighting, keep fighting that fight and everything, and that be something, you know. Most people that may go do a little something in their heads, anything like that. Please listen to that. Please, please listen to that track because I think maybe if you sit down with yourself and play it, replay it a few times and rethink really to yourself and shit, I think that will act, therapy act, music actually helps when it comes to certain methods of therapy in um. You know, and we gotta just take note of that, man. You know what I'm saying? Like there's some different there's different forms of therapy. Music is one of them. Music can be a great therapy for anybody. You know what? That's very true. And I think that's a great way to close out the reaction right there. We'll call it right there, folks. That's a little bit of reaction to the tank. Domination, bandmade, black heart, jet ass, bleeding edge reactions. Peace. <laughs> Excuse me, you don't understand where I'm at I was all around the world, on span, cross the map I've been laying low and now it's time to pop up, bitch, I'm back Now I'ma run it up